Hi guys, how are y'all doing? Welcome to Richard in the Kitchen. Tonight we're going to be making some chicken kebabs on the grill. I've got an electric grill on my patio in my apartment, which is the only kind of grill I can have. But I tell you what, these are great. we got a lot of veggies on here. So let's get started and I'll show you what you're going to need to do this. First thing we want to do is bring a quart of water to boil. Once it starts boiling, we're going to add some salt and some sugar and then some other herbs to help our brining process. Once your water starts to boil, add a quarter cup of coarse salt and a eighth of a teaspoon of sugar. The reason you heat this water to boiling is so that your salt and your sugar will dissolve quickly. Now what we're going to do is a cold brine. We'll have to let this water completely cool before we add our chicken. And at that time, that's when we'll add our herbs and we'll brine our chicken for about an hour. Let's go over our ingredients, what we're going to need to pull this off. I'm going to be using some chicken breasts. I'm using all natural chicken breasts. You can use any kind of chicken you want. You're going to need some wooden skewers. Be sure to soak them in water for about 30 minutes before you put them, assemble your kebabs and put them on the grill so that they don't catch fire. As far as seasonings, I'm going to be using some garlic powder, some cayenne pepper, some thyme, some onion powder, and some cracked black pepper. For our veggies, I'm going to be using a red and yellow pepper, a lime, a lemon, a some garlic, a jalapeno pepper, red onion, and a mater. You can really get creative with your kebabs and put anything that you wish on there, but that's just what I'm going to be using tonight. And for a little sweetness, I'm going to add some pineapple chunks. So the first thing we want to do is we want to get to the chicken brining process. Let me show you how to do that. Our boiled water has cooled. What I want to do now is I want to pour it in a pitcher just one quart of water. I need to make a correction on what I, I stated earlier. I stated uh, one eighth teaspoon of sugar. It's actually one eighth of a cup. So what we want to do is we've got our sugar, our water here. We want to go ahead and put our seasonings in there and take our chicken breast and drop it in there. We want to mix this up where all those herbs and spices, salt and sugar mix in with that. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to take this bag and I'm going to put our chicken in here and I'm going to pour this brine in this bag. Then we're going to refrigerate this for an hour before we take it out and cut up the chicken. Give it a good mix. All those herbs, salt, sugar, chance, and mary. And after about an hour, I'll see you and we'll get this assembled and put it on the grill. The reason we want to brine our chicken, how many times have you cooked chicken and uh, you either on the grill or your skillet and it comes out dry and Tasting like a hockey puck. It's because it's either cooked too long or you didn't properly season and prepare your chicken. This brine process, I guarantee you, it will be the moistest chicken you'll ever eat. And that's why it's so important. The salt and the sugar just permeate this chicken and make it moist, especially you know during the cooking process. So make sure you brine any kind of chicken that you make. I guarantee you to make a difference. So let's get this in the fridge. Our chicken has been brined. And the first thing you want to do when you take it out of your brine is give it a good rinse because you don't want it to be too salty. Then we'll start cutting it up and assembling our K-Box. Alright, we've got our grill firing up out there. What we want to do is we want to take our brine chicken 
and you just want to cut it as lengthwise as you want. You can make these pieces as big as you want. And then we'll put the veggies on there. It's not really hard to do. It's going to be so good. Man, look at that chicken. Isn't that great? All right. Take your K-Bob, put your piece of chicken on there. You can assemble this as much any way you want to. Piece of pineapple, a tomato, the yellow bell pepper, the red bell pepper, and another piece of chicken. <laughs> this is the fun part. Then you just put a jalapeno pepper in there and then you just repeat the process like a red onion you like I said you can do this any way you want to that's the creative part of this and so let me get these other ones assembled and then we'll get these things on the grill all right we got our K bobs assembled we're gonna hit it with a little salt a little pepper and I say we're ready for the grill. All right, we've got our grill going here. We're gonna put our K-Bobs on here. Only kind of grill I can have is an electric grill out here on the apartment patio. So we're gonna set those on there and we're gonna let those go for about five, six minutes on each side. Then we're gonna put some baked beans on there. Man, I tell you what, we brush it with a little olive oil. Man, it's going to be good. All right, let's close the lid. Give it about three to five minutes. It's been about five minutes. Let's give these uh, K-Bobs a flip. We'll hit them with some more olive oil. Man, they smell good. I wish y'all could smell that. And we'll give them a flip. Man, that looks good. You want it about three to five minutes on each side. Man, don't they look pretty? How about that? All right, we'll give them about five more minutes and we'll be ready to eat. Our kebabs are done. I got me some baked beans here. Put that up there. Let's plate these up, man. I'll tell you what. Don't they look good? We'll plate these up and get us a cold beer. Man, look at that. Ain't that pretty? How about that? Chicken kebabs on the electric grill. All right. Let's go inside and plate these up. How about that? Chicken kebabs. Got some baked beans. Some veggies. Man, I tell you what. I can't wait to eat this. Let's give it a taste test. Mm -mm -mm. How about that? Look at that. Mm. That's good. Simple to do. <coughs> Tasty, fun to do out there on the grill. Outside it's hot, but I tell you what, that's what grilling is all about. Hey guys, give this a try. I'll see y'all later. And don't forget to be nice to everybody. See y'all later. Bye-bye, guys.